Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Okay, guys. So today we are going to study Unit Six, the Dragon Ball Festival. But before we study the book, let's check the workable homework first. Can everybody get the red pens now? Yeah. Yay. Good. So June. Yes. Uh huh. Number one, the new school. Ah, <laughs> oh, the new school unit. Fit him, right? Fit, fit. Good job. And Emma, number two, the boy suddenly appeared from behind the door. Appeared from behind the door, right? Good. And the part, some dinosaur bones were found in the desert. Yes, some dinosaur bones were found in the desert. Good. And June, what is number four? She is dropping the whole cardboard box into the recycling bin. Ah, uh, recycling bin. Yeah, dropping, dropping. And then number five, my friend? My friend and I have similar hobbies. Uh -huh. both like outdoor sports. Good. My friend and I have similar hobbies. We both like outdoor sports. Good. And part number one, the prince fell in love with the girl at first sight. Yeah, fell in love. And June number two, generally, generally step mothers, step mothers, step -mothers are described as bad people in fairy tales. Yes. And Emma number three, if you want to be respected, reward others with respect or reward it or treat. Treat. Uh, treat others with respect first. Uh, treat. And part number four, stop asking me to do everything for you. I'm not your servant. Yes, I'm not your servant. Good. And June, if you try hard, you will eventually succeed. What is the opposite word of succeed? Fail. Yes, fail. And Emma, Ancient people made bowls and vases out of clay. What is the opposite word of ancient? Modern. Yes, modern, modern. And part, I like this tiny miniature. What is the word of tiny? Small. Yes, small. Good job. So now I turn to the next page, writing practice. So June, number one, now or? Yeah, <laughs> Okay, and the what? Magic bones. For the fish of oh, fishes, magic of. Oh. For the fishes, magic bones. And Emma, number two, one day, what the brother was it? Uh, first to stay home and wash clothes. Uh, wash, uh, first to stay home and wash clothes. And part, however, did you know that many cultures and generations did was foolish? Yes. That many cultures have a similar Cinderella stories, and in June number four, the old man in the gym tried to try the sandal on, but it only fit both of his. And number five, Emma. When he saw the beautiful nation, uh -huh. he fell in love and married her. Good. Okay, number P. Unscramble the sentences. The part number one. One of the oldest Cinderella story is from ancient Egypt. One of the oldest Cinderella stories is it from ancient Egypt. Okay, two. Number two. She married the pharaoh uh, and mm -hmm. lived happily. Oh, uh, lived happily ever after. Yes, one day her stepmother and stepsister went to a spring festival without her. And June number five. Yes. Okay, finding her method. And Emma number six almost. Emma 
most all of them are yeah. about the kind of who is trick badly. Yeah, that's right. Good. Teacher, can I go to the Oh, okay. Let's go to the library and you can go to the bathroom. Okay? Hmm. Let's go. Okay, well, no.
Okay, May 5th of the lunar calendar, when we're seeing the answer. And June, which is true about the two young? A. He worked as a minister in the state of Chim. No, he a word, a minister of the Chu. A is not the answer. T. Yes, he was sent out for disagreeing. Right, disagreeing means opposing. Okay, opposing with the king's decision. Number T is the answer. Number T. Okay, and part. Why did the local people drop bowls of sticky rice into the river? To keep the fish away from Koreans. Yeah, number C is the answer. Number three is it number C. Okay, number three answer is number C. And Emma, what is the most common shape of Jongji? The shape of a pyramid. Yeah, the shape of a pyramid. Good. Okay? You can understand this? Mm. Oh, you can find the thing here. When Kyun's body could not be found, they dropped the four sticky rice into the river, hoping that the fish would, would eat them instead of Kyun's body. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why this answer is C. Okay, so right, let's do the main page. Next page, page 41. So far, what is number one? The story? Uh -huh. Story behind the festival is about Kyuyeon on what? Fisher. Official. Official. Yes. Official who jumped into Milu River and drowned. Drowned. Why? Why jumped? Jumped? Why he jumped? B is right, this one, what? Mm -hmm. Good. You can find the things here. There's a Q on here. And the key was the event of the two. And the, when he opposed the king's decision, he became elected with another city of the king, and he was sent out of two. He was sent out. Later, he captured and he fell into the sphere and drowned himself. He fell in, disappeared. He was very sad and drowned himself. Okay, uh, so it's drowned. Uh, so let's do number two. Right. Enjoyed by both Chinese people and the what? Visitors. 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 This festival leaves China's past. Past and the present. Okay, past and the present. And number three, guys. The Dragon Ball Festival, one of Chinese, China's biggest, biggest festivals is a new, a new event of the lunar. lunar calendar. Biggest festival and the lunar calendar. Lunar. And number four, Huyan's story is what? Remember. Remembered. Throw dragon boat to races. races and delicious rice dumplings. Okay, June, did you write the whole thing? Yes. Good. Fine. So, what is the first main idea? The first one is it? the dragon boat festival. Well, one of China's biggest festivals is. A new event of the lunar calendar. This. If you write the thing, this number three is here. Okay? The Dragon Ball Festival, one of China's biggest festivals, is an annual event of the lunar calendar. Yes, that's right. Okay, apart, when you finish the page 41, to the next page. Okay, you guys finished? And what is the second one? The story, uh, the story behind the festival is about Kyuyeon. Number one is it? number two.
Indoor. No, Q1 stories is remembered through Dragon Ball races and the Lizard's Rise of the Wing called the Tongji. This one. This is third. Enjoyed by both Chinese people and the visitors, this festival is China's past and present. Okay, so we just study the units six, six and page forty two is a homework. Okay, let's check the answer next Thursday. 
Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. S-S-E-T, English Town.